Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Autism Puzzle. In today's video, I'll be showing you um, the three schedules that I have for my son Logan um, that we use uh, every day for him to show him what his day is going to be like throughout the week. I will also be explaining um, how my son deals with not having a structured schedule, um, say if we go on vacation or if we just do a day trip somewhere. All right, so when you make your, um, your picture schedule, Basically, what you want to do is you want to be as detailed as possible in your schedule for your child because they need to see every possible detail you can. It makes it as easy as possible for them to understand using the pictures. Um, they may not be able to understand the words yet, but for the most part, they're able to understand the pictures. So like I have here for Logan, um, I have a picture of a toilet. It's not exactly our toilet. I mean, you're welcome to take pictures if that's easier for them to understand, take a picture of your actual toilet. Just, I'd recommend closing the lid. <laughs> but, um, and then if you want, uh, the next one I have is put on his clothes. Um, you can take a picture of their clothes. Um, it doesn't have to be a specific, you know, pair of clothes or whatever. You can take a picture of multiple clothes. I mean, it's really up to you how you want to do it. I just used um, Word and then I just used the clip art and just tried to find something that I thought my son would be able to look at based on his skills he has now and what he's learned that he'll understand you know a, a kid in a sweater that means he needs to put on his clothes um, and then after that I have a picture of a kid eating waffles Logan loves waffles <laughs> so I put a picture of a kid eating waffles so then after that um, I put a, another clip art picture of a toothbrush and a little tooth which my son thinks is hilarious <laughs> when he does it every morning. He says, I get to brush my tooth. And I'm like, no, you have to brush all your teeth, not just the one tooth. But uh, he understands for the most part that he has to go brush his teeth. And then once he does that, um, he has to go uh, pack his lunch if we haven't already packed his lunch. And it also states on there to, to pack his lunchbox in his backpack. Once he has done that, uh, he goes and he gets his shoes from the shelf and we put his shoes on. And then lastly on there is he waits for the bus. And I have a picture of a little school bus. It looks similar to his school bus now. It's a little bigger than his. But for the most part, he understands that that's a school bus. He knows what a school bus is. So, and that's as simple as you can make it for your child. Make it as simple as you possibly can with pictures you either take yourself or, like I said, I used Word and clip art to um, use the pictures I have to explain to Logan what he's going to have to do in the morning. The next schedule I'm going to show you real quick is Logan's after school routine. Uh, when he comes home, he'll hang up his backpack on the hook here in our living room. Next, he'll put his shoes in the bin on the shoe rack. Uh, after that, he puts his lunchbox on the counter and also brings me uh, his folder from school from his teacher that has any important papers he has inside. After he's done that, he will grab his Kindle or he can watch TV for an hour. Um, I have one to two hours in there before supper. We dropped it back to about an hour. Um, and then after that, he's able to grab one snack from the cabinet in the fridge, his choice. The last picture schedule I'm going to show is Logan's uh, chore chart that we use for him on the weekend. His first task is he is to make his bed. If he has soiled the sheets, um, we have him put them in the, uh, the dirty clothes hamper, which is the second one, as well as any dirty clothes he has. He has a white basket in his room that we use. Um, we take it out when he's in there because he will throw the dirty clothes everywhere. So that makes my life fun. Um, so we've taken it out of his room when he's in there and we'll keep it in our bedroom until, you know, the weekend. The next one I have is he puts uh, trains in blue baskets. He has two blue baskets that he got for Christmas last year. They were technically supposed to be for both my boys because they had stuff in it from uh, Grandma. But they are not used for Logan because he has so many trains. So I have used those specifically to put his trains in. They are specifically for his trains only, the blue baskets. The next part is to put his books away on the shelf. Logan does not have a bookshelf in his room. Uh, there is one in uh, Chad's room. So basically what he does, if there's any books that he has taken in, he will go and he will put them on uh, Chad's bookshelf. He, uh, We used to have him have books in his room, but he will tear them apart. So yeah, they have to be kept in Chad's room. The last one I have on here is for him to pick up any containers and take to the kitchen. Um, sometimes he'll take a little snack to his room. So if he leaves anything in there, usually he brings it back in right away when he's done because he usually wants more of something. So if he has any containers that are left in there, we just have him bring them back into the kitchen. And that helps him, um, you know, learn to clean up after himself. And then once he's done all those, um, I'll go into his room, 
and basically I'll, you know, check everything off, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. And then, you know, I have a little piece of candy at the bottom and that is they can pick what treat they want. I have a little bin that I keep in the cupboard um, for them for treats. So if he wants a specific treat out of that, you know, once he's done with his list, he can go pick whatever he wants. All right, so now the downside to not having a picture schedule. My son Logan is about five foot right now, and he's only seven years old. When he doesn't have his picture schedule, like when we go on vacations or day trips somewhere, like the grocery store or just taking him, like uh, we took him to the Carnegie Science Museum, uh, just, you know, just places that you normally just go around that you, you don't think about that you'll have to have a schedule for. When he tantrums, it's pretty dramatic. <laughs> I joke with my husband because I call his tantrums when he gets full-blown, cross the invisible line, no communication with him at all, just screaming, crying, throwing a major fit. I call that the Disney princess cry. And I know that sounds funny, but if you really think about it, uh, Disney princesses, they get upset over the tiniest little things. My son is the same way. <laughs> and what I mean by that is when he doesn't have his schedule, we're not able to visually show him how the day is going to progress. So when we don't have it, he doesn't know what to expect. And he is not good with change. So if we change something in our routine uh, for like when we go on vacation, that's I guess not really a routine, it's off our routine. And we tell him we're going to do something that day that ends up we don't do it he's not able to adapt to that change like uh, what society would call a normal toddler or normal seven-year-old. They're able to understand, okay, well, we're not going to be able to do that today, but we're going to do this instead. My son's only seeing the fact that we're not going and doing that, what we were going to, what we were going to do <laughs> and we're not going to do anything or, you know, we're not going to do that particular activity ever. So it does get a little bit hard taking him places like that and not everybody's understanding of when an autistic child acts out when they're off schedule that they're just not able to adapt to change quickly they're so used to that routine you know seven days a week you know they go to school they do whatever else is after school and you know they, they have their whole week planned out and then all of a sudden you take that away and they're like they're they're like blind like okay like what do I do? <laughs> no one's telling me what's going on. And then you tell me something and then you tell me, okay, we're not going to do that. My brain's not able to understand that yet. Logan is still learning. And there are times when he is able to adapt to it, but it's very rarely that he does it. But as he's getting older, he's understanding that we have an alternative if we can't do certain things. That's why Having a picture schedule is so important during the week. But when you go places, uh, like I said, like on vacation or just day trips like that, I know it's hard to explain, but for them, when they don't have their schedule, it's okay for them not to have it because they have to be able to, especially when they're older, to adapt to change and even though they're not logan's not good with it right now adapting to change it's something he's going to have to learn because there's going to be times where things are canceled that he wants to go to and he's going to have to figure out how to handle that and not get so upset because you know the train museum that he really likes going to is closed that day he can't have a massive meltdown as an adult because the train museum closed down <laughs> It's just not going to happen. Uh, people are going to think something like he's hurt or something because, you know, this six foot, however tall he's going to be because he's going to be huge. Um, child, you know, adult is laying on the ground having a huge fit because, you know, the train museum's closed. So it is good to have the, the picture schedule. But in the same hand, not having it when you go places too is also good for them. I know that it's hard to watch your child struggle a little bit, but in the long run, like I've seen with Logan, vacations are getting a little easier with him. I'm not saying they're, they're fantastic because on vacations, it's really not a vacation for me. It's mostly just trying to prepare my son for every second of what's going to be happening. 
and trying to distract him if that if what we're gonna do falls through, having a backup of a backup of an extra backup <laughs> of something I can do to distract him from if, you know if it falls through. And it's not easy, but we've learned to adapt to how you know that's how we have to deal with Logan. And that's fine. And as he gets older, he'll understand that there's going to be times where it's not going to be scheduled. So, like I said, having that picture schedule is awesome. But in the same hand, you're going to have to, uh, you know, try to do things that are not scheduled so that they can kind of get a little bit of both. So then that way they kind of, like I said, they'll understand, you know, so that sometimes things aren't always going to be planned and they'll be able to adapt to the change a lot easier as they get older. Thanks for watching my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe to be, uh, you know, notified when I have new videos. <laughs> uh, also, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'll try to get to them, and I'll try to address them in future videos.